Hello. Our goal today is to demonstrate how talent enterprise data preparation can give non-technical folks a fast and self-service approach to working with data within the data lake. Most data lakes are based on an HDFS file system or other big data storage platform. This video will show you how to access data directly from the HDFS and then complete and run a preparation on a full data set right within the data lake, all from the friendly data preparation web UI. Let's get started. I've already logged into data preparation as a general user. I want to access some files from the HDFS file system. So within the add data set dropdown, I'll select from HDFS. I want to give the data set a name and the user on my cluster is HDFS. If I wanted some heightened security, I could implement Kerberos, which we won't do in this case. Here are the common file storage types Talent Data Preparation supports, CSV for delimited files, Avro, and Parquet. Today I'll choose Parquet as that is the format the data is stored in on my cluster. IT has pre-populated my data lake URL path, which is in this case using an EMR cluster. I'll paste my file directory name to the end of the path, which I had copied earlier. This lets the system know which directory my Parquet partitioned files are located. And finally, I'll click Add Dataset. The system is now reaching out to my Big Data Hadoop cluster and fetching my file directly off my HDFS file system. And here it is. Now that I've pulled data in, I can complete some basic preparations. I don't need to do too much. I'm going to rearrange these columns a bit. I'll make sure my ID column is set as integer. And there is a lot of white space within my first and last name columns, so I'm going to run a filter to remove those instances. I would like my date format to be adjusted to a custom format of day day, month month, and year year. Be aware I'm only seeing a small subset preview of the data, only about 10,000 rows. Once I place a filter on a column, I can fetch additional rows to see a larger sampling of data, to see more invalid rows. Now that I have a few steps in my preparation, I'll run this preparation on the full data set within our data lake, which is super cool. If I leave it set to current sample, it would only export out to my local file system. I want to select all data, giving me the ability to export it out to the HDFS file system, which will actually push the processing of the preparation onto my Spark cluster, providing the output within the data lake the total processing power of my cluster. I want it to be a Parquet file once processing is complete. I'll include the output path directory location and make sure to leave the authentication method as its default. And then provide a username. Finally, I can click Confirm, which initiates the export. I can see my status, which is in progress. This is an asynchronous call, so I can log out and log back in, and the export can still be running without interruptions. These processes have been tested against massive files here at Talend, so I know I can run very complex preparations on very large files efficiently. And my process ran successfully. I can then log into the Hadoop file system directory and view my data set. And I can see the file information for my exported data as expected. Today we learned how to use talent data preparation to source the data off of Hadoop using HDFS as an input, to self-service data, to complete a preparation, and then export it to my HDFS running the preparation steps in Spark. Thus, talent data preparation contributes to expanding big data usage to lines of business with trust and security, as data access and operationalization are controlled by IT. To begin your big data preparation journey, download the free desktop edition here.